Hello everybody and thank you so much for watching. Today we will make this beautiful stunning jacket. The left and right side have a gorgeous mirror image done with a four round diagonal pattern repeat. In part one we will make the two origami hexagons. When they are folded together they will make the right and the left side of the jacket. I also make my hexagons evenly colored so I start both of them with the same color of the skein and work the skein. As you can see, we have a beautiful diagonal pattern that is mirror imaged on the front and the back. We will also decrease the sleeves while we are still crocheting the hexagons so the sleeves won't get too big. In part 2, we will make the seams. We will make the sleeves longer. We will make the jacket longer. And add a pretty border. I'm using Mandala yarn from Lion Brand. The color is called Nifflers and I'm using a H8 or 5mm hook and here's the yarn information. I will be making a medium sized jacket in the video. Make 22 rounds for small jacket, 26 for medium and 30 rounds for large and I will add 7 rounds to the cuff and 7 rounds to the border and I will explain further as we make the jacket together. My medium sized jacket measures 19 inches across and 19 inches from the cuff to the underarm. The cuff is four and a half inches, the shoulder is nine inches and from the underarm to the hem it measures 15 inches. You can add or subtract rows and rounds to all of these measurements and make the jacket just the way you like. Let's make our first hexagon and see what we have to do in round one. We will start round one with a magic ring, then we will make two half double crochet and a chain of three six times. Let's start with a magic ring. Place the end of the yarn in your open hand and wrap around your two fingers like an X. Turn your hand over, go underneath the right loop and pull the left piece of yarn through. Chain 2 to replace the first half double crochet and make another half double crochet into the magic ring around both pieces of yarn. Chain 3 and repeat 5 more times. Make two half double crochet into the ring. 1 and 2 and chain three. One, two, three. Make two half double crochet into the ring. One and two and chain three. Repeat three more times. Make two half double crochet into the ring with a chain of three in between. At the end of round one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six clusters with two half doubles and one, two, three, four, five, six chains of three in between. Finish the round, make a slip stitch into the second chain. Make a slip stitch into the half double crochet, front loop and back loop. And slip stitch into the chain space. And now you can pull your magic ring tight and we can start round two. We start round two with our corner, a half double crochet, a chain of three and a half double crochet and we will make two front post double crochet and repeat that sequence six times. As you can see all of our corners are always made the same way with a half double crochet, a chain of three and a half double crochet. Start round two with a chain of two to replace the half double crochet. One, two, then chain three more. One, two, three for the corner space and make a half double crochet into the chain space of three. Now make two front post double crochet around the next two half double crochet. Yarn over and just go around the post of the half double crochet from the front to the back and from the back to the front. Make sure you go underneath those three pieces of yarn. The front loop, the back loop and a little back bump. So go underneath those three pieces of yarn. Just grab the post and make the front post double crochet. Then make another front post double crochet around the previous half double crochet. The second one, just grab the post and make the front post double crochet. And now we can repeat the sequence. Make the corner, go into the chain space of three, make a half double crochet, a chain of three, and a half double crochet. And around the next two half double crochet, make the two front post double crochet. Remember, just grab the post of that half double crochet. It's a small stitch so that's a little difficult. Make the front post double crochet around the first half double and 
around the second half double crochet. And now we can repeat four more times. Make the corner with a half double crochet, a chain of three and a half double crochet into the chain space of three. Then make a front post double crochet around the first half double and the second half double. And now you can repeat that sequence three more times. Let's finish the round. We have one, two, three, four, five, six corners and one, two, three, four, five clusters with two front post double crochet. Let's make the last cluster. Make a front post double crochet around the chain of two and make a front post double crochet around the half double crochet and finish the round with a slip stitch into the second chain. One, two, make the slip stitch into the second chain and slip stitch into the corner space. Now we can start round three and round three is the first of four rounds of our pattern repeat. Our corners are always made with a half double crochet, a chain of three and a half double crochet. Let's see what we have to do in round three. On our six sides, we have to make four stitches. We have to make two front post double crochet and two back post double crochet. Start round three with a chain of two to replace the first half double crochet, then chain three more for the corner space and make a half double crochet into the corner. Make the front post double crochet around the first post. Remember, go just around the post and make a front post double crochet around the second post. Now we have to make two back post doubles, one and two. Go from the back to the front and from the front to the back around the entire post. So underneath the stitch, just grab the post, pull through, pull through two and through two and make another back post double crochet around the fourth post, back to the front, front to the back around the entire post. We made two front post doubles and two back post doubles. Let's repeat, make the corner with a half double crochet, a chain of three and a half double crochet. Make a front post double around the first post and around the second post. And make a back post double crochet around the third post and the fourth post. Please repeat the sequence four more times. Make your corner with a half double crochet, a chain of three and a half double crochet. Make a front post double around the first post and the second post and make a back post double crochet around the third post and the fourth post. Finish the round with a front post double around the first post and a front post double around the second post and a back post double around the third post and a back post double around the fourth post. The fourth post is the chain. Make a slip stitch into the second chain and into the corner space and start round four. If you like, you can test fold your hexagon, fold it corner to corner and side to side and you can see that little L shape already. Now let's start round four. We make our corners with a half double crochet, a chain of three and a half double crochet. As you can see, each of the sides always starts with two front post double crochet. So in round four, we again start with two front post double crochet and then we make four back post double crochet on all of the six sides. Now you can see that our pattern always shifts to the right by one stitch and creates the beautiful diagonal lines. Start your corner the usual way, make a chain of two for the half double crochet and then a chain of three for the corner space and make a half double crochet into the corner space. Then start your side, we always start with two front post double crochet. Make the two front post doubles around the next two posts, one and two. Now we can make four back post double crochet. The first out of the four goes around the front post double crochet. So as you can see, we're shifting our pattern towards the right. Then make three more back post double crochet around the next three posts. One, two, three. And as we add more rounds, you will be able to clearly see how our pattern is shifting towards the right. Now let's repeat the sequence. Make the corner with a half double crochet, a chain of three and a half double crochet into the chain space of three. Start the side, make the two front post doubles around the next two posts, one and 
two and then make four back post double the first one goes into the front post one two three and four and now you can repeat that pattern four more times finish your sixth side make the two front post doubles and the four back post doubles remember the first out of the four back post doubles goes around the front post double of the previous round finish with a slip stitch into the second chain and into the chain space and start round five round five is the third round of our four round pattern repeat we will make our six usual corners in the mid scene round five we start again with two front post double crochet then we will make four back post double crochet and two front post double crochet make your corner with a chain of five and a half double crochet then make two front post doubles around the next two posts one and two then make four back post doubles remember the first back post double always goes around the front post of the previous round one two back posts three and four back post double crochet then make a front post double around the next post and another front post double crochet and then you can repeat that pattern five more times make your corner with a half double a chain of three and a half double crochet make two front post doubles make four back post doubles remember the first one goes around the previous front post double and make two front post doubles and repeat until you have everything six times make your corners with a half double crochet a chain of three and a half double crochet then make two front post doubles and four back post doubles and two front post doubles finish round five with a slip stitch into the second chain and into the chain space and start round six with a chain of two for the half double crochet a chain of three and a half double crochet into the corner space we will make our usual corners and we already finished the first one in round six we will start again with our two front post double crochet then we will make four back post double crochet and four front post double crochet we already made our first corner now let's make the first side make the two front post double crochet around the previous posts one and two and then make the four back post doubles remember the first back post double goes around the previous front post double one two back posts three and four back post double crochet then make four front post doubles around the next four stitches the first front post double goes around the previous back post double one two three and four and then you can repeat that pattern five more times make the corner with a half double crochet a chain of three and a half double crochet make two front post doubles and four back post doubles the first one goes into the front post double then make four front post doubles the first one goes into a, the back post double repeat that pattern until you have everything six times make the corner with a half double crochet a chain of three and a half double crochet make two front post doubles four back post doubles and four front post doubles and finish the round with a slip stitch into the second chain and into the chain space and start round seven with five chains and a half double crochet into the corner space so as you can see we just finished our first four round pattern repeat and each of the four round pattern repeats have a different color so we can tell them easily apart before we continue with round seven let's go over the four round pattern repeat 
we start each side with two front post doubles and in the first of four rounds we end each side with two back post doubles in the second of four rounds we end each side with four back post doubles in the third of four rounds we end each side with two front post doubles and in the fourth and final round we end each side with four front post doubles then we repeat in the first round we end with two back post doubles in the second round we end with four back post doubles in the third round we end with two front post doubles and in the fourth round we end with four front post doubles and we'll repeat those four rounds over and over until our hexagon is large enough now let's continue with round seven make your usual corners then make two front post doubles four back post doubles four front post doubles and two back post doubles we already made the first corner now make the six sides start with two front post double crochet then make four back post double crochet four front post double crochet and finish each side with two back post double crochet one and two make the six sides and make all your corners with a half double crochet a chain of three and a half double crochet finish round seven with two back post double crochet a slip stitch into the second chain and into the chain space and start round eight and we can test fold again and double check we have a nice l shape let's start round eight make all of your usual corners and in round eight we will make two front post doubles four back post doubles four front post doubles and four back post doubles on each of the six sides start round eight with a chain of five and a half double crochet into the corner then make two front post doubles four back post doubles four front post doubles and four back post doubles make your six sides and your six corners finish the round with four back post double crochet slip stitch into the second chain and into the chain space and start round nine make your usual corners and in round nine we will make two front post doubles four back post doubles four front post doubles four back post doubles and two front post double crochet on each side start your corner with a chain of five and a half double crochet then make two front post doubles four back post doubles four front post doubles four back post doubles and two front post double crochet make your six sides and the six corners and finish the round with two front post double crochet make a slip stitch into the second chain and into the chain space and start round 10 Make your usual corners and in round 10 we will make two front posts double crochet four back posts four front posts four back posts and four front posts double crochet on each side start your corner with a chain of five and a half double crochet then make two front post doubles four back post doubles four front post doubles four back post doubles and four front post double crochet make your six sides your six corners and finish the round with four front post double crochet a slip stitch into the second chain and into the chain space now you can repeat those four rounds and make your jacket a small medium or large size for small size make 22 rounds for medium size make 26 rounds and i made a medium size and for large size make 30 rounds after you crocheted your size we will add four more rounds to decrease the sleeve place your hexagon wrong side up Here's the beginning of the round, fold the corner clockwise to the next corner, here's the sleeve, then fold the sides together and the corners together. Here's the sleeve and this is the front. After 26 rounds, my sleeve is 8 inches wide. Don't cut your yarn, we will continue with the next round right here and decrease the sleeve so it doesn't get any wider. So we will decrease the first side only. And crochet exactly the same pattern as before on the other 5 sides. And we will add four more rounds to make the jacket wider. Now let's go ahead and decrease our sleeve. Please place two markers approximately in the middle of the first side. It doesn't have to be exactly the middle, but make sure that the first marker goes around any of the four front post double crochet and the second marker goes next to it in any of the four back post double crochet. Now we will decrease the cluster of four front posts to three front post doubles and a cluster of four back post doubles to three back post doubles start the first round of the pattern repeat again make your corner and crochet until you get to the first marker make four back post double crochet one two three four 
Here's one empty stitch that's a back post double crochet. Remember, we're still shifting the pattern by one stitch to the right. Even though now we're decreasing, the pattern still stays the same. Around that back post double crochet, make a front post double. That's the first front post double. Make the second front post double around the front post. And now we will front post double crochet the next two posts together. Yarn over and make a front post slip stitch around the first post. Pull the yarn through. We have three loops on the hook. Make a front post slip stitch around the second post. Pull the yarn through. We have four loops on the hook. Pull through three loops and then through two. And we have one, two, three front post double crochet and our pattern is still shifted to the right. So everything is correct. Now let's decrease the four back post double crochet to three. Make the first back post double crochet around the front post. Make the second back post double crochet around the back post. And then back post double crochet the next two posts together. One and two. Yarn over, make a back post slip stitch this time. Around the first post, pull the yarn through. We have three loops. Make another back post slip stitch around the next post. Pull the yarn through. We have four loops on the hook. Pull through three loops and then through two. And now we have three back post double crochet. One, two, three. Our pattern has shifted again by one stitch to the right. Now continue with your round one pattern repeat. Make four front post doubles and four back post doubles. And finish the side with two back post doubles. Then make all the other five sides and all the other five corners with the round one pattern repeat. So no decreases. So the only side that gets decreased is the first side. So now this side will stay the same size and will be our sleeve. At the end of the round, move your markers. So we just decrease those four front posts to three. One, two, three. Put your marker next to it into the cluster of four back post doubles and any of the four back post doubles. So now we know that's the cluster we have to decrease next. Then here were our three back post doubles that we decreased. One, two, three. Put your marker into any of the four front post doubles next to it. So now we know that's the cluster we have to decrease in the next round. Start round two of the pattern repeat with your corner and work your way towards the first marker. We have four front post doubles, one, two, three, four. And here's a front post double crochet, our next stitch, and we will decrease the four back post doubles. Make the first back post double around the front post. And the second back post double around the back post. And now we will back post double crochet the next two posts together again. Back post double crochet the first post together with the second post. Four loops on the hook, pull through three and through two. One, two, three, back post double crochet. Now we will repeat the pattern of the previous round. Remember, we decreased to three front post doubles, so we make three front post doubles. The first one goes around the back post double, the second one around the front post and the third one around the front post as well. Then we have to make the three back post doubles that we made in the previous round. The first back post double goes around the two front posts that we double crocheted together in the previous round. Go around the post, make the first back post double crochet, the second one around the back post and the third back post around the previous back post. Now we have to decrease to three front post double crochet Make the first one around the back post double crochet. That's the one in the previous round where we back post double crochet two together. Make the front post around the post. Make a front post around the next front post and then front post double crochet the next two stitches together. One and two. Continue the round two pattern. Make four back post doubles and four front post doubles and finish the side with four back post doubles. So now on the first side only, we have four clusters that we decrease to three. So we decrease to three back post doubles, three front posts, three back posts, and three front posts. Everywhere else, make your usual round two pattern with the corners on the five sides. Then you can move your markers next to the three back post double crochet into any of the four front post doubles. And next to the three front post doubles, into any of the four back post doubles and we, we will decrease again in round three of the pattern repeat. Start round three, make your corner and crochet towards the marker. Finish with four back post doubles. 
The next stitch of the previous round is a back post double and we will decrease again to three front post doubles. Make the first front post double around the back post, the second front post around the front post and then front post double crochet the next two posts together. So we decreased to three front post double crochet again. Now repeat the pattern of the previous round. Make three back post double crochet. Then make three front post double crochet. Then make three back post double crochet again. And make three front post doubles. And remember our pattern is still shifted one stitch towards the right. Now we will decrease the four back post doubles to three. Make a back post double around the front post double. It's the front post double where we double crochet two together in the previous round. Make another back post double and then back post double crochet the next two stitches together. Then continue with four front post double crochet and make your round three pattern repeat into the five corners and around the five sides. At the end of round three, we have three front post doubles, three back posts, three front posts, three back posts, three front posts, and three back post doubles. Move your markers over again. Move the first marker in any of the four back post doubles next to the three front posts and move your second marker next to the three back post doubles in any of the front post doubles and we will decrease those two clusters in round four. Start round four of the pattern repeat, make your corner and crochet to the marker, make four front post double crochet and decrease to three back post doubles, make the first back post double around the front post, then the next back post around the back post, and then back post double crochet the next two back posts together. we decreased to three back post double crochet again. Make three front post double crochet, three back posts, three front posts, three back posts, three front posts and three back posts. Front post around the back post, it's where we back post double crochet two together. Make the second front post around the front post and then front post double crochet the next two front posts together. Then continue with four back post double crochet and make the five sides and five corners with the fourth round of the pattern repeat. At the end of round four, we decrease to eight clusters where we have three posts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And you can finish your first hexagon. Make the slip stitch into the second chain, then chain one more and pull tight and sew in the loose end. Our first hexagon is finished as you can see, our pattern shifted to the right by one stitch. Now let's start the second hexagon. We will make it in a mirror image, so our pattern will shift to the left by one stitch. So the pattern shifts to the right on the right side of the jacket as we are wearing it, and to the left on the left side, and we are creating this beautiful mirror image. Now let's continue and make the left side of the jacket. The first two rounds of the second hexagon are the same as before. Start round one with a magic ring, then make two half double crochet and a chain of three six times. And we finish the round the same way as we did on the first hexagon with a slip stitch into the second chain and into the chain space. In round two, make the same six corners as on the other hexagon with a half double crochet, a chain of three and a half double crochet. And on the six sides, make two front post double crochet into the previous two doubles, one and two. Start round three with your usual corner. And now we have to work our stitches in the worst order so we have to read our chart backwards. So now we're starting with two back post double crochet, one and two, and then we finish with two front post double crochet, one and two. Remember on the other hexagon, we started each side with two front post doubles. Now we have to finish each side with two front post doubles. So all of the stitches are the same but we just read from the right to the left 
and place them in reversed order. So in round three, we will make our corner six times. Then we will make two back post double crochet, one and two, and two front post double crochet, one and two, six times. Start round four, make your usual six corners. Then on each side, make four back post doubles, one, two, three, four, and finish each side now with two front post double crochet, one and two. Start round five, make your six corners and your six sides. Start the sides with two front post double crochet, one, two, then make four back post double crochet, one, two, three, four, and finish with two front post double crochet again, one and two. Start round six, our final round of the pattern repeat. Make your six corners and on the six sides make four front post double crochet, one, two, three, four. Make four back post double crochet, one, two, three, four, and make two front post double crochet, one and two. And now you can repeat that pattern and make the same amount of rounds that you did on the other hexagon. Make the same amount of rounds that you did on the other hexagon, either 22, 26 or 30. I made my 26 rounds for the medium size. Now place your two markers approximately in the middle of the first side so we can decrease our sleeve. Place the first marker into any of the four back post double crochet and the second marker next to it in any of the four front post double crochet. Then make the first round of the pattern repeat. Make your corner and start with two back post double crochet. Crochet until you get to the marker. Make four front post doubles. Make the last front post double into the previous back post double crochet. Now we can decrease our sleeve. And remember that this time we're shifting the pattern by one stitch to the left. We work in a reversed order here as well. Back post double crochet the first two back posts together. The first back post with the second back post. Then make a back post into the next back post double. And the third back post into the front post double. We decrease to three back post doubles. Then front post double crochet the next two stitches together the front post with the next front post. Make a front post into the next front post and make your third front post double around the back post so it decreased to three. Then you continue make four back post doubles and just make your regular round one pattern into the five corners and into the five sides. Finish round one and move your right marker over to the next cluster of four front post doubles and your left marker over to the cluster of four back post double crochet and start round two. Make the corner and then four back post double crochet. Crochet until you get to the marker. Make four back post doubles and make the fourth back post double into the previous front post double. Front post double crochet the next two front posts together. Front post into the front post front post into the two back posts together then three back posts the first one into the back post the second one into the back post and the third one into the two front posts together then three front posts into the front post into the front post and into the back post then back post double crochet the next two back posts together back post double into the back post and back post double into the front post and then continue make four front post doubles and then make all your five corners and five sides with the second round pattern repeat. Finish round two and move the right marker over to the cluster of four back post double crochet and move the left marker over to the cluster of four front post double crochet and start round three. Make your corner and start with two front post doubles, crochet to the marker Make four front post doubles and make a last front post double into the previous back post double crochet. Back post double crochet the next two back posts together. Then make two back posts into the next two posts. Then make three front posts, three back posts, three front posts and three back post double crochet. Front post double crochet the next two front posts together and make two front posts into the next two posts. Please be mindful that our pattern is still shifting by one stitch towards the left. We have one, two, three, four, 
five, six clusters with three posts. Now continue with four back post double crochet and then make your regular round three pattern into the next five corners and around the next five sides. Finish round three and move the right marker to the next four front post doubles and move the left marker to the next four back post doubles and start round four, our last round of the pattern repeat. Make your corner and then four front post double crochet and crochet to the marker. Then make four back post doubles and make the fourth back post double around the front post double crochet. Front post double crochet the next two front posts together. Then make two front posts into the next two posts. Then make three back posts, three front posts, three back posts, three front posts, three back posts and three front post double crochet. Then back post double crochet the next two back posts together and make two more back posts into the next two posts. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight clusters with three posts. Continue with four front post doubles and then make your five corners and five sides with the round four pattern repeat. We finished our two hexagons and I will see you in part two where we will finish our jacket. Bye bye!